Hi there, so I wanted to give a quick update. Um, I've been meaning to make lots of videos and have some awesome stuff to share, but I keep waiting to get the best time to do it, and with kids running around the house, that just never happens, so I thought I'd give a quick update just on my phone, upload it straight to YouTube, I hope the quality is not too crap, and rather just get stuff out, so just to get into the swing of things with making videos. So the reptile rack was downstairs in the lounge, I mentioned that I might do something with a big display. That's kind of what I've done. I've moved these up into my bedroom. So all of the snakes that I had downstairs minus the green tree python managed to fit in the top half of the rack. I've got the three royals, or the four royals up there. I've got the two brown house snakes on the left, the two albinos, and then the three small snakes on the right. And they all seem to fit in really nicely. So we bought these upstairs because you want to make the ones downstairs like a really big, uh, pretty display and these upstairs just because they're in a rack there's not much to see we don't need it to be downstairs to like show people anything and if they want to see they can come up here so i've got the two big royals in together they have been copulating and stuff i've seen them at least with two locks the males down here and the females over here they've locked quite a lot the female seems to be a bit chunky so Hopefully, we'll see some babies out of that, but no rush, not phase if they do or don't, but it'll be awesome if they do. The cinnamon royal, she's doing well, I'll just leave her be. You'll have noticed that I now also no longer have lids on these tubs. I screwed the, the different levels in exactly right, and now I can just pull them out of stuff. I think that should be easier for maintenance. little Tofino. Let's get him out into the light. Such a pretty little boy. These are the two house snakes. They're down there. Then in here we have the house snakes back and then right in the back is the European grass snake. I have some plans to get the more of these tubs but so these are the 18 liter ones. I can't fit two side by side in here but I've done the measurements and the 21 liter ones even though they're slightly bigger I should be able to fit two. So next month I'm going to buy a bunch of these and try and set them all up. The only problem is I can't really put these in those yet because at the top here there's a little bit of gap and I'm worried about these guys getting out because they can kind of get out of anything. So anyway, that's the rack here. Um, yeah, I have loads of ideas for good videos and stuff of the new vivarium I'm making downstairs. I've taken some footage so long. And I also have some footage of my aquaponics setup outside. I've moved the fish from inside to outside. And behind there you can see like a big great brown box. Um, I've just got some new carp to put in there as well. So I want to do videos on all these things. I try to do them like really good quality and it just takes me forever and I never get around to it. So hopefully this will, this short video will kick the ball rolling. This is where the green tree python has gotten to. This is the room that all the snakes were like initially when I moved to this house. And this one is just here temporarily while I'm building his new cage downstairs. The fish tank is down here on the floor. The stones have been washed, the fish tank has been cleaned. And I've got that on eBay and Gumtree and Preloved and on Facebook and all the places seeing if people will buy it. I've got it on for quite high and I'm hoping to hold out for a good price for it because it's in really good condition. It's clean and it's ready to go. And I need the money from that to help fund the new um, the new Green Tree Python cage. The last thing I wanted to mention on this video is I have this new LED lamp thing. You can't see it with the switch on, it's savagely bright. But that's what I've been using to light my videos. Um, it looks very similar to the Arcadia Jungle Dawn light. So it looks very, very similar. The, the only difference that you would be able to see is the Arcadia ones have a metal bit here and they have a green uh, printed circuit board, whereas this one is a white one. Other than that, they look the same. I chose this one to have the cool white instead of the warm light, uh, warm white light and I think that would be better to have like 
proper white for the plants and stuff. We're going to be using this in the new vivarium. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. If it does work really well, this was like five pounds or something like that, maybe less. Um, I got it directly from China, so it'll take a while to arrive uh, if you order it. But if it works as well as the other one, which I imagine it would, like usually those guys just source it from China anyway. If it does work as well, then it's sometimes like you can get these for like 50 pounds. So it's literally 10th of the price. And if it does the job, then you may as well do that. But yeah, once I get the other one set up, I'll see how it works with the prawns and stuff. And But this might be an awesome, cheap alternative. So that's it for now. The main focus of my next videos are going to be that vivarium downstairs. I'm just at the moment getting loads of footage of me building it. Once I've built in everything, I'll try and put everything together, edit it together. If it's massive, I'll make them into part videos, but if it's not too bad, like if it's under half an hour, I'll just make one video of me making the whole thing, and then I'll do a few updates in the coming months to see how it's going. But yeah, so uh, these guys are upstairs, the Green Tree Python's upstairs. I have lots of other projects on the go, like the aquaponics and things outside. I plan on doing things for all the videos for all of these things like one of the things I did which I did do the video for but I just haven't annotated it is the vivarium that I got the exoterra it came with a light hood which had a broken switch so I managed to fix the switch and I filmed myself doing that so I'll get that out eventually as well um, if you have requests about particular things let me know and I'll try and rush those along but yeah that's been it uh, this is February this is what the snake collection is like you'll notice that the bottom half of this rack is empty and that's really exciting to me so that that means I can get loads more snakes so anyway that's it see you guys soon cheers